So welcome Niket. He's from Ahmedabad and uh, he's been working for nine years in web development. He's a civil engineer. That is pretty cool. And he had a passion for programming and decided to do Go. So he used to work in Ruby earlier, building web apps, and he's finally found his true love. <laughs> he's he's, he's uh, on the management team of Beehively, and in his spare time, loves to read and travel. Over to you, Niket. Thank you. Just a second. Uh, there is nothing on So I, I got this uh, really catchy title, Joy of Single Purpose Services in Go. So you must be thinking, what is single purpose services? Uh, there are services that solve only one problem, do only one thing, uh, also known as a microservices. But I, I didn't heard that name, and I got this new name. All right, we always do this intentionally to scare people. <laughs> <laughs> and especially first time. But you know what? You don't want to see the presenter mode there. So we are yeah. finally going. OK, so but for some history, uh, I'm, I'm working on this Ruby application since past few years. And uh, it, it is called Behively same as our company name. It has a lot of features for schools. It's a school school management software. And uh, since it has a lot of feature, it is a huge code base. And it was a single code base, single application until 2013. It is built in a Ruby. So I have few words to say about Ruby. And Matt's Ruby's creator said about Ruby and this part Fatly matches my sentiment. Ruby is simple in appearance, but he is very complex inside, just like our human body. Ruby is complex. And when you are building a complex, large stuff with a complex tool, you have double your complexity. This is uh, some, some Ruby code I, I show to um, people I interview, and just for fun. Uh, <coughs> This is what you can do with the Ruby. It is very powerful. And with power comes responsibility. And you also have to trust a lot of uh, colleague programmers, library authors. Basically, everyone contribute to your application directly or indirectly. And there are a lot of ways to uh, overcome that part. But still, uh, uh, Ruby is, uh, I, I feel it is not perfect language when you have large code base. You have to break it down. And we are not replacing Ruby. Ruby and Ruby based frameworks are still very productive tools. And we have this huge code base in the Ruby. So uh, yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. This talk is about how Go based uh, services improve our application. Um, why? Why microservices and why microservices in Go makes most sense. <coughs> People generally say that you use base tool for the job. And that applies to programming language as well. Uh, when you say programming language, programming language is not the, just the language. It is standard library, tools, culture. And that is the difference between Ruby and Go. We had some uh, major issues with our Ruby application. This is not general statement. Uh, <coughs> we we consume a lot of memory because mostly because of we done it badly, and uh, we also had these speed issues, uh, partly related to memory consumption and many other things. <coughs> so our approach was to do UX workarounds, and buy the bigger boxes. It worked until some point. We also had these general Ruby related problems. Probably you might also have. Ruby concurrency model revolves around multiple processes. 
and with our memory consumption multiple processes is a very costly way to do concurrency and there is this uh, culture issue as well in in ruby uh, people generally uh, move fast uh, they want in the project frameworks get merged and you have to deal with those things they are fine they are fine when you are uh, uh, doing uh, starting a new product and you want to move fast it it matches with your speed but when you have a mature product it is actually you are you feel like you are catching up we also created a new problem ourselves when i started to work on this product full time uh at 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 that point we thought we have this uh, code base that that we want to improve uh, we want to improve our technology stack and uh, so we started from scratch and that was a huge mistake after some month of work we we realized that we cannot uh, ask our customer to use uh, this new platform which has all these features um, bscam can do it we we thought we might do it we migrate migrate people but uh, it it de didn't make any business sense uh, so we we got this new, uh, new system which has a better ui and better code but we cannot use put that in a production so this is in time we wanted better ux options we wanted to improve our code base reduce memory problems reduce cost if is if it is possible and most importantly bring new version of behavly on par with our old system feature wise solution was microservices it it wasn't very clear at that time at, at that time uh, it, it was hard to see this as a solution it worked out very well we are on our way to solve all all those problems microservices is probably nothing new just a fancy name uh, <coughs> it is old unix motto do one thing do it well and uh, when you have those little things you combine them with the pipe and build your custom solution with microservices pipe is probably uh, any standard http raised redis it can be anything that your uh, application and services agree to use we had these three problems i come up with the three services and we are going to see those first feature was pdf reports our pdf reports uh, were mainly gradebook reports and uh, when you have this classroom uh, of of 20 30 people uh, we wanted to uh, generate those uh, group group reports and uh, it was largely sequential because doing concurrent thing in a ruby and specially handling that uh, synchro synchronization getting correct status was very hard so we we chose to do it simple way i always do things simple way another was the speed issue so i uh, when i went to this talk in uh, san san francisco go go meet up that they have they have chani presented juju and you presented his not I, i i got interested in go and i i wanted to try out this was the perfect thing for uh, to start with that it was a very small feature but i thought i i can improve this feature with go pdf service was just a proxy uh it gets the request uh from from browser directly and based on that request it uh generates multiple request and those multiple request goes to ruby boxes and ruby boxes deliver html this pdf service will render those html into individual pdf and when it is completed it generates a single pdf com by combining those pdf this was a very simple idea and it work out extremely well uh, we we didn't need to change anything in the ruby code uh, we were using same actions 
सेम ऐसे वैसे ही हमारे पास जनरेट है दिस वॉज द ए पी आई इन माइक्रो सर्विसेज ए पी आई इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ए पी आई इज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बिटवीन योर एप्लीकेशन एंड गैन योर सर्विस इवन इफ यू आर यूजिंग इज दिस इन इन हाउस बाई यू हैव टू सीरियस अबाउट द ए पी आई एंड आई आई ट्राई टू बी एज जनरल एज पॉसिबल ए पी एफ सर्विस डजेंट एज्यूम एनी थिंग अबाउट द मेन मेन एप्लीकेशन इट कैन बी पुट ऑन ऑन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी एप्लीकेशन एंड स्टिल इट विल वर्क इट इट टेक्स मल्टीपल पार्ट फॉर्मेट ओरिएंटेशन आउटपुट फाइल नेम ई मेल एंड कॉल बैक एंड इट इट गॉड हज अबाउट ट्वेल्व एक्स स्पीड बाय जस्ट डूइंग थिंग्स कॉन्ग्रंटली स्प्रेडिंग द लोड ऑन मल्टीपल रूबी बॉक्सेस वी ऑल्सो surprisingly reduced the memory consumption by 30% uh, by just uh, spreading load <coughs> and we got ac accurate status tracking now when uh, go can track a uh, current progress very well uh, wh what is what is happening right now and show that in a percentage uh, to to the browser my my product managers comment was this is the first percentage that I, he saw that works when when thing uh, is uh, progressing second service was alert service this was the perfect use case for go and this is where uh, w what i thought to use go first but then i, I did a smaller thing first <coughs> this this feature sends uh, email text and voice calls as fast as possible and that is its its purpose it it is used rarely but by definition it can be used at any any unpredictable time so we cannot plan plan for uh, for that we have to always be ready for that and we have to allocate some uh, workers that are allocated just for this purpose we cannot afford when a request comes in and those those workers are busy in something else with our memory consumption uh, it was a huge code base so it uh, running one one worker was was costing around 400 mb and say that i, I want to run 30 workers it's a 12 gb of memory consumption just for this single feature so uh, and and again tracking the real time progress was very hard then we uh, i done uh, uh, with uh, coding i that tested it and I, and i found that calculations are now very fast uh, only only part slow was uh, fetching data from the ruby application and so i avoided uh, caching calculations and just cached this source data so it, uh, uh, it by by that way uh, we we reduced the invalidations previously it it was that any anything change uh, we need to throw throw a lot of cached stuff, uh, stuff and now it is more granular <coughs> these are some huge numbers but don't concentrate on numbers uh, probably if if i have done this uh, things correctly in any any other language i might have got some speed but with uh, go it was insane when we have cache it was a 50x uh, speed bump but when we don't have cache still we got a speed up <coughs> and more importantly the the feature i like is this control use of memory caching that that was huge i i doesn't need to babysit our servers anymore for for the ui part uh, i i first went with angular js and uh, uh, proof of concept worked with angular js and then uh, when i put with the production data uh, i i found that it, it was very slow and i didn't knew angular js very well so again i chose the uh, right tool i i went with the Re react js it, it was proved to be perfect tool for the job and uh, like go uh, i also started to like react 
it is very simple in nature you uh, doesn't need to learn much and still still you get the same speed speed benefit same uh, interactive ui <coughs> so choosing a uh, best tool for the job is is very important we used nginx as a router that will uh, uh, decide where where to send the request uh, it it can be main application or the services and uh, we use passenger uh, for a for ruby side so nginx was the perfect choice for that we used redis uh, very very effectively uh, go based services doesn't talk to database directly redis is the glue <coughs> and go applications either treat ruby application as a proxy upstream or just api client it go go services doesn't assume anything about uh, uh, which uh, application is using them this was the huge feature for me of go and uh, this was the like half of the reason why i i choose go in, instead of a familiar language to do these microservices when i i thought to go this services based uh, architecture i uh, i thought like like niket you have this one problem and now you are splitting up into multiple problems so uh, I, I i choose something that uh, just works for this microservices <coughs> and he, here is a proof uh, in in december amazon introduced this code deploy and code deploy was kind of perfect for us so we thought to move our uh, our deployment system and based on this and uh, when when i started to convert my applications uh, it, it took just couple of hours for first for first ruby service and uh, then then copy the process for other the other services <coughs> ruby application i i know ruby since long but with ruby it took me four days with several several failed attempts and ruby made me understand this code deploy in detail uh with with go i, did, I didn't need to understand uh, how it works <coughs> so for us main application plus go based microservices is working beautifully <coughs> and we are moving to go from ruby no we are not moving we are just adding go where it makes sense simple deployments this is again huge i i don't know but I I I feel very comfortable with the Go based application. I I put my first application in the production, and it just worked. It never happened with me, so I'm I'm very happy with that choice. There are some caveats. Uh, not going with the Go, but going with the microservices based thing, you, that that you need to consider. It might uh, increase complexity in your development setup. Use Vagrant. or something like that uh, but it will increase complexity compared to just a single single application so development side get gets bit complicated second problem is authentication uh, authentication uh, either either you uh, do some tricks uh, and and just ever 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 the put in uh, authentication code in every services and every application but it it largely depends on your application what what you are doing so i i don't have any opinion on that so basically use go today you can you doesn't need to move go move to go so yeah uh, last slide thank you <laughs>